Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to down uh, how to use uh, time picker control in ESP.NET C Sharp, or you can say using jQuery. So uh, first of all, uh, download uh, uh, jQuery dot time picker from this URL. John uh, Thornorthan dot GitHub dot IO jQuery time picker and download from there. Hey? And uh, after download, you can uh, open your download folder and extract your uh, this folder. And uh, after extract, you can pick that file uh, like the JavaScript file uh, jQuery dot time dot time picker dot js file, as well as uh, you can pick uh, the dot uh, css file cascading style sheet jQuery dot time picker. There is two files you you can pick and save into your uh, folder. Under the JS folder, you can save uh, your uh, jQuery dot time picker dot js file as well as uh, your CSS file that is the script file you save in the style folder no uh, in the CSS folder you have uh, both file are there the jQuery dot time picker dot CSS file and you can both uh, paste under the, uh, the same folder after that you can uh, add a new web form and there is add new item a web form and uh, just drag and drop your those two files uh, jquery dot time picker dot cs file as well as dot uh, mean dot css there there is second file that is the css file after that you can uh, first to uh, load your jquery dot 1.10.2 dot cs file okay now uh, notice that there is uh, jquery we have uh, there is a simple example you can uh, pick that file and as, as well as the uh, disabled time you can set it here there is so uh, i use this example here control c and you can uh, first of all input type equals to text id equals to this okay and the script just after that script and paste your code it here the id property of uh, your uh, control is the this control c and control v okay now after this you can uh, start your jquery uh, by using this dollar sign function okay now just drag and drop it here okay that's fine now save this and run your example this is a simple example you can watch it there is one and one and three is di disabled so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net c sharp and jquery also, thank you very much for watching.